Hi, I'm Brad Rooks from Deer Tech TV. It's been an interesting year between the pandemic with COVID-19 and our theory on this show, or our theme was literally going to be going to these manufacturers, which you guys don't know. We know a lot of these people personally. They're deer hunters producing a great product because they want to make you guys better hunters. And we want to get behind the scenes. We didn't want to make it look like it was a TV commercial for 30 seconds. We wanted to get behind the scenes, show you how it's made, tell you a little bit of the inside scoop. But with COVID-19, we haven't had the ability to travel. So the community kind of came together. We're shooting some of our, our stuff here with prototypes. We're, we're using product that we're not as familiar because it just came out. But we're doing the best we can. We're excited to show you what 2021 is gonna be because hopefully we can travel again and we're gonna get behind the scenes and show you guys the footage that was meant to be. I hope you enjoy the show. This isn't just another 30 minute commercial. This is the people behind the products, the innovators, the engineers, the entrepreneurs. Your ability to spell is gone, wow. This isn't just another hunting show. This is Deer Tech TV. Welcome to Deer Tech TV, I'm Dave Gillane. We don't always go hunting alone. Sometimes we take friends, neighbors, family members, and that's great but sometimes we feel the need to just go outside and enjoy the great outdoors for ourselves. That's one of the main reasons why we do this. But regardless of whether or not we're out there with friends or we're out there alone, we live in a day and age where there is no excuse to not know where one another is in case of an emergency. That's just one of the factors that Brad Rux and Ed Grams of Basemap will be talking about in today's show. But first, we'll be checking out a new take on convenience and efficiency with an ATV sprayer from Chafin. I just want to talk about this Chafin sprayer. You know, I've used a ton of different sprayers in my life and this thing is the bomb. I mean, what I like about it is, typically your sprayers, you, you can adjust the pressure, but it's always with a little set screw and a screwdriver. This one has a little dial that you can just easily dial pressure up or down. Because what you want when you're spraying is a nice mist. You don't want big droplets or anything else. You get that mist and all it takes is one little droplet to hit that weed and it'll die. So the more mist you have, the more droplets that hit, it's the perfect way to go. But what really sets this sprayer apart is a separate tank for your, for your uh, herbicide. And you can use you could have multiple tanks, you could have your liquid fertilizer in one, you could have Roundup, that's what I got in this one, Gly, but the tank is always clean. Because as a, as a food plot guy, you always worry if you, once you're spraying a Gly Roundup and it's mixed in your tank, well now, two months later, I want to hit my, uh, my plot with a liquid fertilizer, and I'm always worried that the tank's not clean because I don't want to kill my, so we water and wash it out and wash it out. Well here, I don't even have to worry about it. I just pull this off, put the new one on, run a little bit of water first before I get on my plot, and now it's all clean because the hose is clean. And you can set how much, you know, your ratio right here. It's an easy little dial. So no more mixing cups, pouring the Roundup in, looking at it, pouring that in, and making sure you got the water. Now it's just dialing to the right ratio, and you got it made. This thing, in my opinion, is the best prayer that I've ever used. You know, the one thing as a parent that I want to know is when my kids are out in the woods, I want to know where they are, kind of, and I want to know that they're safe. 
Deer Tech TV is brought to you by Scent Thief. Make the wind your cover. Base Map. Plan, navigate, share. Skull Hooker. Get your head on right. Browning Trail Cameras. Outdoor Edge's game processing sets to do it yourself and save. And by High Mountain Seasonings. Make the most of your game meat. For hunting, shooting, camping, fishing gear, and more, go to sportsmansguide.com. They sell all the top brands in the industry like Carhartt, Loophole, Browning, and Boulderton, all at unbeatable prices. For everything you need to outfit your outdoor passion for a lot less, go to sportsmansguide.com. You're watching Gear Tech TV. Welcome back to Deer Tech TV. Keeping track of your teenagers while they're out there hunting solo, finding somebody quickly on a blood trail, or just making sure that you don't get turned around in the woods are just a few things that this next piece of Deer Tech can help you achieve. Hi, I'm Brad Rux from Deer Tech TV. You know, the one thing as a parent that I wanna know is when my kids are out in the woods, I wanna know where they are, kinda, and I wanna know that they're safe. With this app ad, this, this will do that, right? Right, so we do have live location sharing. So, you know, we have a social media type thing built into the, into the app where you can follow your friends, follow, you know, your fellow hunters. And with that, you can actually turn on live location sharing and you can select what people you want to nice. see your location. Um, now you do have to have cell signal, okay? Um, but, once it's turned on, if you're stuck, you know, if you're sitting in a tree stand, you know exactly where they are. If they're moving, you know, to the truck or trailing a deer, again, you know exactly where they are. Um, you know, from a, from a safety standpoint, you know where your kids are going to be, your wife, your husband, you know, your grandma, grandpa, whoever you're hunting with, you know exactly where they're at if they have the app and have that turned on. That, that's huge. Even for me, you know, my wife's not a hunter, but at least if, if she had that and now I don't come home, she could see, you know, exactly where I am. Because a lot of times, you know, your phone might be dead. Maybe your phone fell, you know, if you fell out of that tree stand and now it's out of reach and you're hanging up in a tree with no help. So at least now they know exactly where you are. Right, so I mean, whether, you, whether you're moving or not, or your phone dies, it's gonna give you the last location where it pinged, you know, basically pinged your location. You know, cause it's gonna talk to the satellites and it's always gonna show on your map. It's gonna show their little picture icon or, you know, the time and date that it pinged their last location. So you, you at least know a general area to go look if something's, well, something's I, wrong. I absolutely love that feature. You know, as a dad, like I said, I can appreciate that. And I can't tell you how many times I've came down here just to pick them up out of the woods and they're not there. And then you start wondering, are they lost? Are they here? And kids always have their dang phone on silent. You know what I mean? Like, right. and as a hunter. Right. So even if I try to get a hold of them, I can't get a hold of them. But now with the app, I'm gonna go on there and I can actually see that they're fine. And if you're calling for help, you know, to get a deer out or something, you at least know that they're coming and coming in the right direction. You know, so you can try to text them or call them and say, hey, you, you're going the wrong way. You know, turn around and come back. You at least know they're headed in the right direction. How easy is that to turn on it? Super easy. So in the, in the app, you know, if you have your friends, or your, your wife, your kids listed as people you follow for our outdoor journal, you can select who you want to have for live locations. Just click at a button. First, you have to turn on live location sharing. Okay, then you select on your list who you want to share it with. You know, so if you don't want to share it with, with me, but you want to share it with your son, you select him and, and I'll never see you, but he will. You know, the other thing, thinking out loud here, what would be pretty cool, we often take some of our clients out on other hunts with, with you know, out of state. Now I can actually see where they are, see what the property looks like, you know, so I have a better understanding when they come back and tell me their deer story. I mean, that, that's a great, great thing. You know, outfitters, if they're given base map or... Oh. You, now they can make sure that, that that client or hunter is staying in the stand, or if they have moved, you try to get a hold of them. Where are you going? Why'd you get out of stand? Yeah. You know, or you know, are you trailing a deer? You at least, you know, outfitter knows where, where the hunter is. Uh, that's a good point. The other thing about when with outfitters, the guys that I really love, I don't want to be walked into my deer stand. I mean, I've been hunting whitetails for 35 years. I, I, I know how to walk in the stand but I want to know where that stand is. So now they could show it to me on the app right. and they can actually, you know, if they had all their maps or stands mapped on the directions, now I can take right. the right path 
and they can watch me to see if I'm doing it right. right. You know what I mean? So, I mean, it takes all that fear of going into this unknown stand. And, and that's what I think a lot of people don't realize is it is the fear of somebody getting lost. I don't have it, uh, you know what I mean? But some people do, they're yeah. so nervous when you drop them off at the corner, you know, uh, and they gotta walk down a flag line and then they screw up because they think they're gonna screw up and therefore they do screw up. Right. So it takes all that fear out. Again, check this thing out, Base Map. It is the coolest app out on the market. Just got the Baby 13 in daylight, so. I've got the 18 kind of located. He's traveling more than he used to, but he's doing about the same thing as normal, just covering more ground. But we've more or less got a plan come together. Just gotta, um, just gotta hunt and see what happens. You're watching Gear Tech TV. This segment is brought to you by Outdoor Edge Knives and Tools. From field to freezer and everything in between. This segment of Deer Tech TV is brought to you by Thermoseat. It's that time again. That time where we're done talking about technology and we just want to hunt. This week, it's Tanner Edenfield of Georgia. Tanner's been keeping tabs on a 13-point buck that does not like to show up in the daytime for the last three years. Will that buck be able to elude Tanner for one more year? Let's find out. There was a buck I called Baby 13 here all last year. Been putting corn out for him all summer and he hadn't showed up, but about this time last year is when he showed back up because he was gone all last summer too. So we'll see. Bunch of crows. There he is. I think that's him. Dang, my dude. Dude, <laughs> he's got double kickers off the G2s just like uh, the 16 does. He's added probably, he's probably mid 30s now, but he's a freaking stud. Just got the baby 13 in daylight. So I've got the 18 kind of located. He's traveling more than he used to, but I know he's doing about the same thing as normal, just covering more ground. but. We've more or less got a plan come together. Just gotta, um, just gotta hunt and see what happens. Well, just those four or five does and that six point. That doe, man, I don't know what. I mean, these does out here just like to hear themselves blow, but I had the wind in my face and I'm up there in like a squirrel nest. I mean, ain't no way that deer see me. I think my best guess would be they probably heard me coughing and knew they wanted to come in there and start trouble whenever they did come in. Anyway, it's just cool to get to see deer, so. I'm about to go get in a tree for the baby 13. Um, I hadn't seen him in like two or three weeks and he shows up this morning um, at like eight o'clock. So I have killed bucks in the past where I got a cell cam picture and went and hunted them that afternoon. Cause you know, chances are he's not bedded far away. So anyway, it's kind of a long shot, um, but you never know. So we'll see.
Dear Tech TV is brought to you by Scent Crusher. Scent off, game on. Thermoseat, stay outdoors. Dead Ringer Broadheads, there will be blood. Brownie, the best there is. And by Lifeline by Hunter Safety System. Don't climb without it. This segment of Deer Tech TV is brought to you by Skullhooker. There's like four bucks in here I'd shoot. Nothing huge, but you know, it's getting kind of down to the wire. And there's four decent bucks in here. All of them three or four years old. Old trigger finger getting itchy. Oh, I nailed him. Nailed him. Go down. Go down. Yes! I just shot the baby 13. There's a giant. An absolute giant. I want... I... <clears throat> Dear Lord, please let that deer be dead. Oh, that air is covered in blood, though. <sighs> air is covered in blood. This ain't no, you know, this ain't no track I don't, I want to push or anything. So, <sighs> Lord, please let this deer be dead. In Jesus' name, Amen. Here. We're following that white line. There's a climber icon. And the deer was 25 yards from the tree, so you want to take Zima up there? So you want to head down that way? Oh, yeah. Get out of here. Right here, son. Look at all that. Mm. Look at all this freaking blood, dude. That jacket is jumping, son. Dude, that is a dead freaking dude. Yeah. Yeah, there he is. Oh my god. Holy freaking crap, dude. Oh, he's big, bro. Oh my god. Holy crap, dude. Oh my freaking god. Dude. I've watched this deer for three. Years. Oh my god, dude. He's a freaking giant. He is a freaking giant. He has been dead for a minute, too, son. He's stiff. 
Dude. Oh my God. Coyotes got to him. This deer is really a testament to, to, you know, when a deer gets to be about three years old, start studying kind of what he does. And um, the past three years he's shown up late season and been very daylight active and knew from previous years he's liable to start start showing up in daylight. So he showed up this morning and I um, really just blessed is all I can say. I mean, this has by far been my best year ever. This is my fifth self-filmed buck with a bow and my biggest deer ever. And, you know, thanks to the extended archery season, this is the first year they've had that season and we made it count. So I'm just freaking stoked.